Okay, guys, we're back, and today, I believe we're going to work on getting a bed. So, actually, do we have enough more right now? Yes, we do. Okay, so what a bed does is it allows you to sleep through the night so you don't have to deal with all the monsters that creep around, and um, you can just go straight back out. So, um, first let's turn this music down a little. Alright, so... Um, to make a bed, you just go on your crafting bench and you put three wood across the middle. And you put three... Oh, wait. <laughs> Fail. Okay, switch that. You put three wood on the bottom and three wool on top. Um, and then that's pretty much it. Now, what you want to do is make sure you have at least three blocks of space above your head. Or else you will come out, um in the stone most likely or in whatever your ceiling is and that will not be fun so what we're gonna do is just place down our bed and we should be ready to sleep whenever it turns nighttime now you can only sleep when it's uh, nighttime um, and it's kind of stupid because what if you want to sleep through the day to get to the night and you can sleep during the day in real life so but that's the way it is and we have to deal with it so there's no point and um, just stand on just keep on complaining so we'll stop complaining uh what we're going to do now is make a door that way we do not have to keep breaking down our cobblestone every time we want to go outside so to do that you just need six uh planks and you make it in uh two rows of wood it doesn't matter what side it's on you can put it on the left too and you get a wooden door so we'll take our wooden door and it doesn't matter what side you are putting the door on but for just reasons that I will explain in a second we're going to place it from the outside so that way we can stand on the block that the door is on um, and then you kind of get a better view of what's outside whereas you'd be stuck right here and you could only see a little bit but when you're right here you can see a little bit more so that's the reason behind that um one other thing we're going to do is first of all we need more cobblestone so we're gonna expand out a little bit more and what we're gonna make next is some shovel or just one shovel and an axe also what I want to do is I want to close this up up here and kind of add on make it an add-on to the um, hidey hole um, just jump up there okay so there we go and that should be good enough for now we'll just clear out a little bit more and I'll probably just fix it up a little bit up here uh, before the next episode so what we're going to do now is we'll just take a stick and we're gonna just make a few more sticks as well and um, uh, one thing I didn't tell you guys is if you have a stack and you want to split it and put it in another crafting spot um, you can just right click and it will split the stack in half and you can place it down somewhere else so we're gonna do that and we're gonna put one cobblestone there for a shovel so we have a stone shovel now and what we're going to do is make an axe so an axe is created like that and if you notice all the stuff or most of the stuff in minecraft is created how it looks in the game or in real life so it makes it it makes things quite a bit easier to make and just remember the recipes with Okay, this is what I've been wanting to do. I'm gonna come up here and kind of take a look at what's back here. And it looks like we hit a jackpot over here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Also, we're gonna use our axe on the tree. Um, as you see, it's definitely much quicker than using your hands to cut down the tree. And we're going to have to do this. 
Okay. Wow. Okay, so we have a very, very amazing area to to live in. And, oh my gosh, is that a ravine? Oh, wow. Okay, we're going to have to check that out. We got to do that quickly before night falls. Yeah, we'll probably be able to make it if we hurry. So, ravines are like cuts in the ground and like a deep gap and there's a ton of ores in it. Um, so, it's a wonderful place to find your first ores such as iron and if you're lucky enough gold now me and Brayton were lucky enough on our private server to find diamonds in one that led to a cave so there is the possibility of finding diamonds as well right, so we have some coal there but I'm gonna leave it right now because we gotta hurry and get over to that ravine and get back to the house before night falls Okay, there are some cows, and we're going to kill them, because I am going to want some leather to make armor, which I will show you guys how to work all that in the next episode. Looks like we're not getting any armor right now. Alright, so, also another game mechanic you can use is sprinting. To sprint, you double tap W, and you go much quicker. Alright, so it's kind of hard to tell where I am due to all these trees blocking my way. Hello, squid. I'm going to put you out of your misery. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. Just what I was thinking. This is a ravine. It looks like it goes back quite a bit. Okay, this is definitely something we're going to have to check out. But we got to get back to the house quickly. So what we're going to do is we're going to sprint and hopefully make it back before night falls. Now, the thing is, you can't... Oh, egg. Okay. We're using we're taking the eggs because with eggs you can um make cake. Uh we won't get to cake making for a while, but it's gonna be nice to have eggs uh so we don't have to go searching for them when we actually need to find them. Minecraft has a tendency to not give you what you want when you want it, so you take everything you can while you don't need it. So Oh, we gotta get get back quick. Okay, so, one thing about this series is that I'm giving you guys my own spin on how to survive Minecraft. I know there are tons of different um, survival guides and stuff like that, especially one that I myself personally like by Paul Swartz Jr. But um, this is my spin, and I just wanted to do this because it's my touch on it, and it's not going to be like anyone else's, because... I'm going to do some more stuff with it than just a tutorial series. Okay, so it's getting night time. Let's get out quick. Oh, we made it. Okay, so once the sun hits the horizon over there, we can sleep. Actually, what we're going to do is cover that cave up because sometimes you cannot sleep because there isn't, um, there's some monsters that can spawn. So let's go to bed. And go to bed. Yep. Okay. So here's a sleeping mode. Okay. And now it's morning. Uh, no monsters have spawned, uh, as far as I know. I don't think they had enough time to spawn. And um, also a feature with the bed is when you sleep in it, you set your spawn point there. And as long as the bed is not broken, then uh, every time you die, you respawn by the bed. Instead of where we originally spawned over that way. So, I will talk to you guys later. And, um, don't forget to comment, rate, anything that 
um, you feel is necessary to um, help me out. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later.